<laughs> not a ringing endorsement, my love. No. <laughs> oh. No. Oh. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Outdoor Boys, and today we are taste testing survival foods. So I called up my friends at CampingSurvival.com and asked them if they could send me uh, some products to taste test, and uh, sure enough, they did a great job and they sent us a whole bunch of stuff. We have got some really cool things, like I have a pizza, a slice of pizza right here. Pepperoni pizza. Um, I've got a can of pork brains, dehydrated cod, uh, some whipped cream, uh, cheese in a can, energy bars, and, and cheesecake. And cheesecake. So we're gonna go through and try this all, guys. Are you excited? Yeah. All right, guys. So first off, let's try these uh, energy bars here. These are basically pure calories. They don't require any cooking. Just pull them out and eat them. Five-year shelf life on these things. And there's three different companies here represented. We've got Mayday, Mainstay and we've got Daytrex. They each have different flavors and, and slightly different textures, so we're gonna, we're gonna test those out. Should we try the mainstay uh, emergency rations first? Yeah. Okay, let's check this out here. It's like a big cookie. Kind of a, just a big brick, you know? All right, do you want some? Mm -hmm. I'll take here, this piece. <laughs> that guy's is the last. It's like sawdust where they've added a lot of flavors to it. You know? <laughs> it's like, I can definitely eat this for a meal. It's not disgusting, but it's not lovely either, you know? It's like a dry cookie. A oh, really dry cookie. Yeah. So, what's everyone's verdict on the Mayday food rations? All right, so Nathan liked it. He thought it was like a cookie. I thought it was meh. It was okay. I could eat it, but didn't love it. Tommy disliked it, and Mom thought it was okay. I didn't, I didn't like it. You better have a lot of water handy because even just that little piece like made me super like, oh, I need water. So dry. not a good, very, very dry. All right, now we're gonna try the mainstay food bars and see what they're like. Hmm, yeah. Wonder if it's nice or Whoa. not. Ah! This comes in like three cubes. It's kind of the same color, same texture as the other ones. All right, you guys want to test these out? Yep. Okay. Well, there's three of us here. Yeah, there's four of us here. The, the, they're really, really similar to the other ones, but mm -hmm. the Mayday ones taste a little like apple-ish, cinnamon-ish. Apple, yeah. yeah, a little apple cinnamon, and these ones taste a little bit like cookie dough. Oh yeah, not as sweet. Not as sweet though, not as sweet. I mean, I don't think anyone would rave over these, but everyone's eating it. Yeah. You know, the kids are eating it. Yeah. I'm still eating it, actually. I got a few bites. It's all right. No, man. No. Yeah. I like it a little better. You know, those mainstay bars are actually growing on me. I kind of, kind of digging them now. You know, it's like, yeah. yeah. All right, guys. What's everyone's verdict on the mainstay survival bars? There you go, Nathan. Hold yours up. So Nathan loved it. I gave it a solid, not bad. Tommy said I like it, and Mommy said better than okay. So. Across the board, everyone liked them a little bit better. I like it. You do. I gotta tell you, this is a, a big deal because if we're gonna pre prepare survival food for our family, the kids have to eat it, you know? That's the thing, you know, we have enough trouble getting our kids to eat normal food, so, yeah. They haven't said this tastes like potty words yet. <laughs> yeah, this tastes like potty words. Next, I'm gonna try the Daytrex or Dotrex uh, survival mm -hmm. bars. We just open. Oh, that, that, was, that was easy. Oh, these look different. Oh, look, they're individually wrapped, too. That's that's, nice. that's actually really convenient. Look at this. They're like little little bricks of spam. Okay, now. Seems like there's more of it, too. They're all in these little individually wrapped little bricks. It totally looks like spam or scrapple. Very hard. Come on, there's a piece for you. Thanks. Piece for you, buddy. Yeah, this one tastes more like a cracker and less like a cookie. Yeah. It doesn't taste as sweet, but it's good. Yeah. On the Daytrex food rations, our opinion is... All right, so Nathan gave it scribbly marks and he liked it, though he hasn't been very articulate about it. I said tough call. I like the flavor of the mainstay ones better, but only slightly. But these come individually wrapped. It's a tough call. Um, Tommy seems to have liked it. 
a lot and drew a beautiful picture of a flying monkey. Now, did you like these ones the most or did you like the other ones better? These ones, because they're great for building. Hey, Becca, you liked even better than okay. Even a little better than okay. It's very convenient that they're individually wrapped and it's kept Tommy busy. And the flavor was... The flavor was fine. And actually, because it wasn't quite as sweet, it might be better for eating it long term. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit more of a meal and less of a, a yeah. candy or something. I was thinking I'd like to put peanut butter on it. Mm. No, yeah, peanut. I can see that. I can see that. Put or like, I can see it mixing it into a stew or something or cooking with it. Yeah. Though Nathan's over here chewing on the mainstays. He's got a sweet tooth, that boy. <laughs> yeah, he's got 1,200 calories there in one pudgy little hand. Bam, bam. Yeah, I enjoy playing with that a lot. We've gone from bare minimal survivalist foods to uh, a little bit of a luxury item here. We've got a thing of Bega cheese here. It's an Australian canned cheese. Cheese is obviously pretty hard to get in a survivalist situation. So this could be a, very much a luxury here, but uh, is it going to be awesome or is it going to be a dud? Let's find out. All right, so that's what it looks like inside. It's a soft white cheese, but uh, let's see if it tastes any good. Who likes cheese? Me. Me. Okay. Me. Now, me and Tommy have actually eaten this before. When we did our zombie apocalypse fishing video. Great video. I'll put a link in the description. Check it out. Mike from One Rod and One Reel gets eaten by zombies. It's pretty cool. Do you guys want some more? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, you want some more? All right. Mm -hmm. There you go, buddy. There's a nice cheese. I ate some more. You, you know, this tastes a lot like laughing cow cheese. If you're here in the States, I mean, it's it's the same thing. It's kind of a soft, spreadable cheese. So you can put this on crackers or something. Hold, hold on, don't put your finger in there. You can't say Hold up your judgments. Becca wrote, I like cheese. It's good. I would eat that normally. It was good. Especially on crackers. Good. Tommy, did you like it? Yeah, I liked it so much that I started running into the wall. Nathan, did you like the cheese? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mega. And I, uh, I liked it a bunch. Yeah, I thought that was totally legit and I might actually eat it in a non-survival situation. It was good. This is one of the things I'm most excited to check out. This is a pizza. It's got a three year shelf life. No cooking required. You just heat it up and eat it right out of the package. You guys want to try this? Yeah. All right, let's do pizza. We're going to heat this up by just submerging the pack in some hot water here just to heat it up. Just give it a few minutes and uh, see what happens. You guys ready to try some pizza? Pizza! And uh, we're just going to fish this out of here. Whoa, that smells legit. That is awesome. What pizza? Well, it kind of looks and smells like the pizza you used to get at school cafeterias. But I mean, it looks legit. Just straight out of the bag. Look at that. Everyone's going to get a piece. What do you think, babe? It's good. The toppings are kind of weak, but the bread's actually really good. The bread is really good. Well, I mean, for just heating it up, that's... It's good. It's good. I would eat this. This isn't just no. survival. This is like... I take this camping. Nope. Our little boys have just decided to draw zombies and are no longer drawing their opinion. So we're going to just forego with the drawings and I'm going to say the pizza was a two thumbs up. What do you say? Yeah, two, sure, two thumbs up. Sure. They're, they're I would take that camping. I would. I think that's legitimate food. All right, guys, we're going to try another one of these meals in a bag here. This is a bacon sandwich. So we're going to go throw it in the hot water, get it heated up. Nice and warm. We've got the bacon sandwich here. Into a human. There we go, like a little pizza pocket. Just, uh, I like the bacon sandwich. You want to try the bacon sandwich? Mm -hmm. beep, 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 beep. That bacon and, and little bread the there. Church. You want to go try the bacon sandwich? I like the bacon okay. sandwich. You want to try it? It's a little warm still. Oh, wait, it's not the greatest bacon in the world, but it's <laughs> bacon. Wrapped in bread, I mean. And the bread's pretty good? No, oh, the bread's pretty good. Yeah. They got the bread down. Yeah. <laughs> I like it so yummy. Hey, do you like your bacon sandwich? Yeah. It's better off. Who liked the bacon sandwich more than the pizza? Me! Who liked the pizza more than the bacon sandwich? Me! 
Okay, so Nathan liked both more than the other one equally. <laughs> and you like the pizza best? Yeah. Okay, and I like the bacon sandwich best. I like the cheese best. The cheese is better. The canned cheese is better than all of them. <laughs> and Nathan just loves everything. So. All right, we're also going to try this fully cooked beef wrap with seasoned Mexican style spices. We're going to heat it up, throw it in the boiling water, see what that tastes like. Tommy is now just picking cheese out of the can. Oh, stop. Stop using your fingers. Come on, man. Ooh, this is like a tortilla chicken. Oh, that smells good. The Mexican style beef wrap. Oh, it looks like there's two of them in here. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's what it looks like inside. It's not really spicy, it's kind of a sweet meat. I think it's a little spicy. Mine's a sweet. Mm. Mine's a spice. Is yours spicy? I think so. Yeah. It's spicy. Mm. What's up? It's hot. It's hot. Woo! It's spicy. Like it's, spicy. it's spicy. The tortilla is really good. Yeah, the tortilla is good. Yeah. It's, it's not spicy at all. If you're into eating like serious Mexican food, you'd, you'd laugh at this. This is no. not spicy. It's just seasoned, you know, is all it is. But for us, for me. Yeah. But if you want to kick it up, it's really easy to throw some Tabasco sauce in there, some hot sauce. That keeps really well. Who liked the tortilla thing? Mm. You, you spit it out and said it was too spicy. Between the bacon sandwich, the pizza, and the tortilla, which do you like the best? It's close, actually. I almost like this better, but not for long-term eating. I think this would mix it up a little bit, but if I had to eat something for a week, I would probably choose the pizza. I think you're right. I like the flavor of this, but I'd rather have like the bacon sandwich if I was gonna eat like 10 of them. Yeah. Your family's gonna live on pizza and bacon sandwiches for a week, here is your Taco Tuesday, folks. That's what you need to do. This is Taco Tuesday. Next, we're gonna try a very retro survival food, pilot bread crackers, okay? These are kind of like hardtack or navel biscuits or a lot of things um, that were used for rations for a long time. Uh, and so uh, let's uh, give this a go. It's just basically an unleavened bread in the shape of a cracker. See what we got here? All right. Pretty basic. There we go. Okay, here you go. Here's a bit for you. Tommy, want a cracker? Yeah, if you took a saltine cracker and made it really thick and chunky and mm -hmm. took away all the extra salt, yeah. that's pretty much what it is. Need some cheese. Yeah, that's exactly right. You need some cheese. Who wants cheese with their cracker? Me. It's good though. Yeah. All right, that's the thing is a can of cheese and a can of these pilot bread crackers, you got a meal. I mean, I could I could sit down in a pinch, fill my belly with that. Mama, you want some? Oh, absolutely. Well, well, you know what we need to try next, guys? What? Pork brains! <laughs> Because you can't eat pork brains without crackers. The crackers, pork brains, goes hand in hand. And it comes with milk gravy. Are you excited, Jacob? Yeah, pork brains. So I do not like eating brains. Mmm, the freshness seal is broken. Oh, yeah. You know what? We need a bowl to dump this in. Daddy. That looks exactly like Ew. what I would expect pork brains to look pork like. Brains. Oh. The gravy now. really improves the look of it. <laughs> hey Becky, you want to try some of this? It looks like cat food. I don't mm. want to eat it. I don't want to eat it either. Me too. I'm the main. Oh, come on guys. It's pork brains. I get myself a pilot cracker here. It's, stop eating all my cheese. I like cheese. All right, nice big thing of pork okay, brains. I, I really should check to make sure this is pre-cooked. A little bit of pork brains on pilot cracker. Let's give it a go. It actually tastes like mushed up Vienna sausages, to be perfectly honest. Pretty much what it's like. Of course, nobody in my family will touch it. So, I'd rather get a can of Vienna sausages, I think. <laughs> or something else. 
<laughs> Anything but brains. So, what did you think of the pilot crackers? Mom got a smiley face. She liked the crackers and cheese. Tommy drew, drew a zombie and also liked the crackers. And Nathan drew a zombie with my help that says crackers not brains. <laughs> and I too drew a drawing that says I love crackers. I think it's unanimous. Everyone liked the pilot crackers. Now as the only person who tried the brains, I brains. Not so good. See, I drew an unhappy face with my zombie. And he's got a pilot cracker and brains. They were okay, but it's hard to get over the fact it's pork brains and milk gravy. It's It tastes better than it sounds. Oh, it was uh, it's a little rough. Very, there's like an iron aftertaste. Next, we're gonna try dehydrated cod fillets. I'm really excited to try these out. These are actually fish fillets in a can, dehydrated. Uh, they also sold uh, beef steak and pork chops that are dehydrated as well. This is either going to be the awesomest thing I've ever seen or it's going to be a complete bomb. But we're swinging for the fences here on this. This is dehydrated and so you have to reconstitute the meat. And you don't just add some water and off to the races. You, you have to soak it for a little bit. So I'm going to go and start preparing this so that we can try it out. Okay, so let's see. Oh, that definitely smells like fish. What? Look at that. That is crazy. Hey babe, check out the cod. Give that a smell. Is it? It's a, it's a pungent smell, isn't it? Hey, here, feel this. Feel this. Isn't that crazy? It's light. It's it's like a feather. There's like yeah. nothing to it. Yeah, smelly feather. A smelly, smelly feather. <laughs> Look at that. It is just packed in there. There is a lot of fillets in here. Here, I'm going to go ahead and try to reconstitute this. Look at that. Just floats like a cork. All right, so I'm going to take this little plate here, and we're going to put it on top to try to sink that down. The cod's been soaking for an hour, and the can said that's how long it took to reconstitute it. So let's see. Oh, it's still floating a lot. All right, there is a piece of reconstituted cod. And it uh, doesn't quite feel like fresh uh, fish meat, but close. It uh, feels very fragile, a little spongy, and a strong smell to it. Let's try battering this and frying it. We're gonna make a little fish and chips here, maybe. All right, we got our cod battered. Let's fry it up. It feels more natural now that it's all cooked. Um, yeah, it looks really good. Well, let's uh, proof in the pudding. Let's give it a go. Let's uh, let's crack it open and see what it looks like inside. Wow, that looks like real fish. Man, at least by sight, it's hard to tell that that was ever dehydrated. Look at that. Mom, do you want to try some? Ringing endorsement, my love. <laughs> no, uh, no, no. Oh, it's just it's uh, there's something about it. It is a little off. It uh, the fish is a little rubbery, and it it doesn't taste like fresh. It tastes like old fish, you know. It smells like old, like fish. old fish. It smells strong. It is not the best. If you really love fish. You might be okay with this, but if you if you're not a fish fan, this will not jive with you. This will. I'm not ready to taste it. It smells strong. 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 It smells strong. Yeah, I really I really want to try the the beef the the dehydrated beef steak and the dehydrated pork steak. I really want to try that now. Well, guys, we've got only two things left. Do you guys want to try the uh, strawberry cheesecake and the whipped cream? You guys ready for that? Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, smell this. Well, that smells good. That smell good? Mm -hmm. That smell good? Oh, yeah. We're going to pour this in here. Some cold water. And I'm going to... I should have put this in a... I should have put this in a bowl. Well, it actually looks like pig brain. But it smells a lot better, doesn't it? I should have dumped this out then out of the water. 
It would have gone a lot better. Oh. I whipped it for two minutes and I leveled it out and now we're just gonna kinda let it set up for a few minutes here. Strawberry. Mm, strawberry? You like it? Mm -hmm. So while the cheesecake is setting up, I'm gonna go ahead and try to make some of this spiffy whip here to go on top. And uh, this says you take uh, one cup of spiffy whip and mix it with one cup ice water. Beat it at high speeds for three to five minutes until peaks form and uh, then serve immediately. All right. Yeah, come over here. Come on. Now this spiffy whip is a little bit of a cheat. You know, if you're in a survival situation, you're not gonna have ice water unless it's winter time and you're not gonna have a KitchenAid probably. But uh, you can actually beat this by hand. I'm just super lazy, so I'm gonna try it first with the mixer. But, uh, oh look, it's actually working. It just kind of like did nothing, and all of a sudden it went whippy. I want to see it. Go for it, take a little, take a little lick. What do you think, bud? I mean, it's close to marshmallow. Close, tastes like marshmallow? Oh, that is good. Like marshmallow. Tastes like marshmallows a little bit. Yeah. We've kind of loaded this whipped cream, but here, you're gonna. Fluffy. Look at that. That is so fluffy. Look at. Okay, and then we're gonna. It kind of looks like marshmallows. Yeah, it kind of looks like marshmallows. Well, I think you guys are liking that. Wow. All right, everyone, you want to dig in? Yeah. Come on, let's go ahead and dig in. Oh, more like pudding, but. Not cold. bad. It's weird not being cold. <laughs> it's kind of room temperature, so it's kind of funny. So you can see the texture. It's just kind of like a thick pudding with graham cracker sprinkles. And the uh, the whipped cream holds up really well. Who liked the cheesecake? Raise your hand if you like the cheesecake. Yeah, I mean, it's not the best dessert ever, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of neat. It's a, it's a pudding. Who liked the whipped cream? Me. Yeah, like this part. I really dig this. This is actually really good. I can think of lots of uses for this. So, um, yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Did better than the cod. No. Oh. But you like the top. Well, guys, I thought this was loads of fun. There were some really awesome foods here. There were some hits. There were some misses. But I gotta honestly say, most of it was really good, and I'm really surprised at what they can do with food technology nowadays. Um, so, definitely check out. Uh, CampingSurvival.com. I'll put a link in the description to all these different products they sell. And uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we hope you enjoy this. If you want to see more great videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to... I subscribe! Mail that. Mail that. Yes. I like my mail. You got whipped cream all over your face.